you can't soap up everything always. Think of soap as something to remove buildup. When you think of a bar soap or a shampoo bar. Oh, shampoo bars. What is my opinion on shampoo bars? It's gimmicky. Shampoo bars remind me of like clay cleansers. Okay, so hear me out. Take dry hair, like, right? Don't take, take dry hair and then take flat, straight, oily hair. What are the differences between the two? One's dry and one's not. One's dry and one's oily, right? Clay. What is clay? Clay is like a mud, right? It's, and it sucks. And you ever put clay mask on and you can see the little oil coming through sometimes? What is clay? How is clay going to, what's the benefit of clay on dry hair? Not textures that are naturally drier. Take bar soap or what do we call them again? Shampoo bars? Shampoo bars. Shampoo bars. See, I know all these things and these products. I just am so far removed from them because I blocked them out because they've never made sense to me. And make it make sense. If it does not make sense, I keep it moving. I get glitchy. And you should too. But I know you don't know any better because hairdressers didn't know any better. And manufacturers just throw things your way. A shampoo bar is what, a gentle soap? like uh what is it castor black soap castor oil or black soap or whatever it's supposed to be natural what's natural can also be very drying you know i know that clay is natural free of chemicals and all that stuff but that doesn't mean it's good for your hair gentle soaps are have just been replaced with things that have sulfate in them, sulfates in them which is like dishwashing liquid been replaced with natural sudsing agents still not good for your natural hair your naturally dry hair if clay sucks and removes oil that's not cleaning the hair it's stripping a hair it's drying it out think of your skin and your hair think of your, your your hair like your skin like you know think of Cetaphil think of things that gently clean your face that don't require you to have to use soap think of your hair the same way that's like believing that Dove really has a quarter cup of moisturizer in it it's bar soap and we don't use it to wash our faces anymore you can use it to wash your pits and your groin and your crotch area and, you, and if you feel like you lather up that way Everybody showers differently. I can't soap up my entire body every single day. I can soap up everything that needs to be soaped up every single day and up to as many times a day as I need to because I like to be clean. So I take a few showers a day and baths and stuff. Um, I live in the water. But you can't soap up everything always. Think of soap as something to remove buildup. When you think of a bar soap or a shampoo bar. I go all over the place with this because I want you to see from different ways or look at it, how to look at it from a different way. Your hair is, it's important to keep each one of the strands. If you have a kinky four, A, B, C texture, three, something, whatever, it's important to keep them soft, lubricated and elongated. Your hair is the driest thing on your body, whether you're kinky, curly, wavy, or straight. And the objective is to find a balance depending on those textures and find a regimen that's more suitable and specific to your texture, which is why you come to Hair Rules, whether you're kinky, curly, wavy, or straight. Because we got all the answers for each one of you. And what's good for one texture has nothing to do with the other. So I hope this helps. In your shampoo bar, use it for your body. Don't put it in your hair, all right? So if you like these videos, I hope that you click like and subscribe and go to hairrules.com for further education and find a regimen and products that are specific to your hair texture, not someone else's. And so every day can be a great hair day. And yeah, see you soon.